Hi guys, welcome to GBO TV Presents Stories with GBO Stars. I'm Sumaya Pasha and I will be your host for the day. So today we will have a little bit of fun with some prolific brand owners who we are fortunate enough to carry on our platform. So our first guest of the day would be Arik, owner of Matt. So welcome Arik. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Samana, owner of Sakura and Aroni, the owner of Shape. The owners of The Inside Stories, Home Decor, Marine and Noreen. Asif, the co-founder of Beauty Loop. So tell me, Eric, how has the new normal been for you and your business? Well, initially it was very difficult as these are unforeseen times. Right. But we had to adapt and train our staff accordingly and make sure they take every necessary precaution for the safety of the customers and also for themselves as well. Right. So the new normal has been really interesting. Uh, during the starting, we really saw a downfall in the sales and it really concerned us. But then also, I think we took that moment to really try and educate our audience because we are a fairly new brand right. and we're solving a new problem. So we tried working towards that and we got lots of engagement. And soon, within after two or three months, sales also started picking up. So it's been right. pretty interesting and, uh, you know, contribution, contributory to the growth, actually. That's right. So, yeah. I think uh, I have faced this new normal in two stages, like from February to late August right. or late July. It was more about sustainability. You know, it was so fearful all around because we were getting so much of pathetic and the fearful news as from the people we were losing hope and we were losing um, maybe everything so the later stage I realized that no it's a war more or like mm -hmm. for a sustainability so we need to sustain according right. to the situation and according to the plan you say professionally or personally so we started adopting the new protocols the new safety measures and other stuff that are quite better for maybe my personal life and yeah. the professional as well. Yeah. That's it. Well, it's been uh, both a blessing and a curse in disguise. Uh, we'd say that since it's uh, we're primarily an e-commerce uh, based business, we have no outlet. Um, this pandemic has in many ways brought the importance of e-commerce to people's lives. I feel more people have now known the convenience and luxury of shopping online. Um, GBO also offers a, you know, this extra luxury to people with multiple brands under its uh, head, which is great. The disadvantages, however, of the pandemic has been our supply line because right. we import products from all over the world and it, isn't, it has not been easy with many countries. So a lot of our uh, supply line has been affected. Um, the new normal, as you're aware, has been very difficult for all the businesses out there in Bangladesh especially for a brand that has based upon um, beauty products mm -hmm. and a lifestyle kind of product. So we were really hit hard in terms of business perspective, but then the pandemic hit us and it kind of had to, we had to reshuffle our whole business plan right. and try to implement new ideas on how to move forward from whatever the situation came in our way. So we did a few changes in the whole business model and we have focused on more uh, different kind of strategies to market the products and we are actually getting good responses from okay. different sources so yeah seeing how things goes. So how important of a role has the digital space been playing for your business? Well, even though we have a small physical presence at Dapper Bespoke we are an online based platform right. so the digital space is everything to us and ever since the pandemic our website has actually generated more traffic than ever before. Because people are locked to their screens. Right, because right, yeah. they're home and they're just, yeah. they don't have anything else to exactly. do, so they're just online. Yeah. Digital uh, space has been everything for Sheep, to mm -hmm. be honest, because uh, we're really small. We started just a year back and we have primarily functioned uh, out of the online space only. It is only recently that we are starting to, uh, you know, pop up in places, in small uh, uh, spaces. So to, you know, a pop-up booth here and there. But primarily, all our customers are based online and they're exploring and finding the brand mm -hmm. online. And that is how we are reaching more people. So it's been very uh, significant for us. Right. Uh, maybe not for the pandemic also, 
the digital platform was always important in our life, I realized, because we grew up in a time where we came to know about a brand or what's going all around through the TV advertisement. Right. I remember with my mom and with my dad. But now we are living in a stage where there are a lot of commercial brands coming on and there are a lot of entrepreneurial brands coming on. So you got to know about a brand and its ideology and its scheme and what it's offering mm -hmm. and what's unique about that brand from the digital platform. Doesn't matter you buy or you shop from the e-sites or not, but it's really important that you know about an entity. It might be a shopping entity, it might be a commercial entity or a news entity, everything from that digital platform. From social media, right. Yes, exactly. So we're actually an online business already. So I think it's it's a great opportunity for us to just continue doing online. Right now, um, uh, the physical store presence have reduced considerably in Bangladesh. Sure. As you're aware, people, although they're going out, but everyone's taking a lot of precautions and going out seems like a hassle for everyone. So people are more prone to digital shopping and e-commerce. So we have an experienced store, like a full-on um, hardcore makeup store, but we have shifted our idea to a more e-commerce space. So we are looking to different platforms and our own website and GBO. And we have marketed it in such a way the consumer feels comfortable going through the different products and making the best out of the current situation that we are all in. Right. So now we're going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to be playing some games. Are you ready for that? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the first game is called What's on Your Mind? So I'm going to be um, throwing some words at you and okay. whatever comes in your mind, you just have to see it. Sure. You can take time, okay? I'll try. Okay, ready. Okay, so our first word, fashion. False men. Comfort. Fashion. Um, Hurry up. Luxury. <laughs> Live for it. Ralph Lauren. In exact orange. E-commerce. Uh, the new way forward. GPO. Grand Boulevard. Convenient. Convenient. Amazon. Dessert. Mm, shell and core. Not a fan. Cream caramel. Uh, love it. Hate it. Lava cake. Instagram. Uh, uh, the new online marketplace. Sumaya Pasha. <laughs> Sumaya Pasha. Addicted. Obsessed. Effective. Color. Red. Blue. Yellow. Black. 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 Superhero? Batman. Iron Man. My husband. <laughs> That's so cute. Spider-Man? Hulk? Batman. Beach. Tanjong Beach Club. Go somewhere. Hydrophobic. Beach. Bali. I'm a beach baby. Love oh. it. <laughs> Manly. Okay, the next game would be pick between the two. So I'm going to give you two words and you have to pick. Beach or mountain? Oh, beach. Mountain. Mountain. Beach. 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 Shopping or saving? Shopping. Shopping. Great. Both. Shopping. 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 Fashion or comfort? Fashion. Comfort. Both. Comfort. <laughs> Comfortable fashion? Comfort. Desserts or chocolate? Puchka. Desserts. None. Desserts. Neither? Chocolate. Outdoor sports or indoor sports? Uh, definitely outdoor. Definitely outdoor sports. Outdoor. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> so not sports for me at all. No. <laughs> Outdoor sports. Outdoor sports any day. All right, so this brings us to our final part. Tell us about your association with GBO and if you have any good wishes. So partnering up with GBO has helped us reach a new segment of audience. And we're also very lucky to be associated with the other fine brands of, that are involved in this website. And we're also very lucky to be associated with the other fine brands of Dhaka City. GPO has been a doorway to a whole other segment of the digital space. So, so far it's been us and our socials, but with GPO, there are all these other amazing brands who are right. on board. And uh, this can be a platform that can also help us go international. So we are thrilled to be with GPO. I have always been engaged with association or organization, mostly depending on its commitments and authenticity. Right. So I remember I took part in the first event of Grand Boulevard that was the pre-COVID situation and we all enjoyed it, how unique it was. Right, it was pretty so, huge. It was exactly. a very nice exhibition. So when it came in my knowledge that they were launching their new e-commerce platform, it was really a great news for all of us because 
uh, amongst all these e-commerce sites nowadays, it is hard to pick and hard to understand which ways is uh, more authentic and which one is actually more committed. Right. Because there are a lot of time you face a lot of dilemma and troublesome regarding the delivery and their management issues. So I was quite happy that finally Grand Boulevard is here right. because I have seen how committed they are, how organized they are, how unique they are in terms of both profession and marketing and branding mm -hmm. and delivery, obviously. So we learned about GBO through the amazing events that it had um, uh, hosted at the West End. So it was really nice to get to know what GBO was about, the kind of brands that it was working with. Uh, being um, online, it was uh, really convenient and just the kind of, um, I think it's the kind of website that Dhaka City was missing. I don't, um, the kind of websites that we had before was not very uh, curated. I think GBO is very well curated. It has a consistent, it, it, it's consistent in its taste and um, quality of brands that it houses. So we're very happy to be a part of GBO. We have recently uh, partnered with GPO and they have been a great partner so far. We are still looking into how to collaborate more and how to actually market our product in a different way. And the platform they currently have, it's great. They're signing up with every new brand every day. Right. I'm uh, keeping a keen eye on what they're doing and what, how their socials are, how their digital platform is. Overall, they're doing a great job and hopefully it picks up even more. I wish GBO all the best with its future endeavors and hope to be a part of it as well. My best wishes to GBO for all the growth and prosperity. All my best wishes for Grand Boulevard and I'll be requesting everyone to check out their website and keep experiencing the fine art of shopping. We wish it all the best. I think this is the, one of the best things to happen to Dhaka City for people with good taste, convenient, great service, uh, good brand stores. So all the best. I'm wishing them all the best. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you all had a lot of fun. Um, we will be back very soon with a few more episodes. Till then you can um, check out our YouTube channel. The link is going to be down below and you can log on to grandboulevardonline.com um, to experience the art of fine shopping.